Hey, Russell Pearson here for another Rusty production. Uh, if any of you have been following me, then you will know that uh, the reason that I'm doing all this is uh, not just to become uh, a bit of a blacksmith somewhere down the track. Uh, it is to learn the skills that I need to actually put a forge together, uh, which include welding and uh, and all the things that come with that, grinding, cutting, you know, all those all those things working with metal. And I'm a complete novice. So uh, again, if you haven't seen the videos to, to date, have a look at those, you'll see what I'm talking about. My welding is atrocious. It is getting better. Uh, my grinding is, is not much better. And um, I make a lot of mistakes. So um, I think that even just coming to the part where I am now in building this forge, and we are nearly there, we're nearly there at actually uh, the point of lighting it up, uh, has been a journey in of itself. Uh, so to quickly give you a recap, we are building a drum forge, which means that we need the drum itself, which is this component here, sheet metal underneath that, which is actually going to be our base plate. We have created wings <laughs> in order to keep the uh, the coal and the coke in to, uh, to our forge and allow us to pile it up a little bit. We have a plug that's been created to stop the coke and the coal from falling through. And uh, we've built a frame, which you'll see in the earlier video and you'll see in just a moment, uh, which now has the right amount of struts on it so that we actually can set our, um, our brake drum at the right level. So other things that we've done. This inflow pipe, cut holes in it, Cut it to the right size, created a little trap door at the bottom end to actually let any slag in and out. We've got a couple of more tasks to do with that. So the other piece is this one here that I made, which is the uh, the inflow pipe and um, the bellows, or I guess a hair dryer, <laughs> is going to go in there, and that'll uh, that'll attach into this here like that. We'll we'll bolt that in. But uh, what I've got to do today is I've got to weld this to that, to this solid piece of steel. Now, uh, you might be able to see, I've already had a slight go, uh, and that's because I didn't have my heat up high enough, and so while it uh, it did start to weld this piece, it didn't weld this piece, and this, um, yeah, we're looking at about a quarter inch steel here, or, or maybe even a third inch, so it's gonna actually, I'm gonna have to turn the heat up now. In turning that heat up, uh, I've got to be really careful about cutting through the thinner, the thinner metal. So uh, I'm going to be taking my time. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get a, a bit of a, a deeper cut into into this heavier metal, and then bringing it back up uh, in a sort of a, a zigzag pattern to try and see if I can get a, some good tack on there or a couple of good tacks, and um, we'll see how we go with that. I was just watching a. Uh, I think it was Jody, Jody Collier. Uh, it's uh, welding tips and tricks, or welding tricks and tips. Uh, I might put it in the comment in the um, description below. But the uh, that that guy's welding is incredible, and um, and <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get anywhere near that because that's professional level stuff. But uh, I'm certainly nowhere near it now. So I've just got to make sure that that this larger piece of um, of metal sheet doesn't actually come off this piece of pipe and um, and the whole thing fall apart. So I'm gonna take my time and try and do this properly. You can see through, there's, there's the hole through there. Hopefully you can see that. Show that like that. That's where we need our pipe to be able to sit right over the top of. And luckily I can see right through there, so that's easy. I'm going to uh, get my gloves on. I've already got a grounding on the steel there. Move a few things out of the way. Get the dog out of here if I can. Come on, Ted, out. And uh, we'll go from there. Start the pot. Now, let's see how we went. I wouldn't say it's on there in a great way. 
can I can basically break. We've got one good tack on this side, um, not so much on the other sides around here. So going to. Uh, I think that hasn't burnt right through, so that's alright. Uh, so I'll knock the slag off that, and um, I, I will take a little bit more time with it. I, I, I took more time with the first one, not as much with the second and third. So. Um, they really haven't welded properly, so I might have to actually do this in a number of passes, but I'll uh, if, if, uh, if I don't record straight on from here, um, I will uh, I'll come back when I've finished All right so that's definitely on there a lot cleaner. Um, and uh, all the tacks are holding, which is great. So again, knock off some more of that slag and uh, might finish it off. As most of you know, I still don't have a wire brush, so I'm just using this one for the time being. I've really got to get one very soon. Just use the uh, the end of this rod. There's not much left, and then we'll we'll get a new one and finish it off. I thought I'd just quickly film this. Um, you know, for those who, who haven't seen it before, but I'm sure most of you people who have uh, will have. This is um, this is where the, the tack is actually touched on to an older weld and it's got completely stuck. Now it's pulled the handle out of here. Um, when Because of the grounding and everything was still on, that glowed uh, bright orange. And, uh, and I quickly went and turned off the, uh, off the welder there. But um, I did it before and it, it sort of blew up. So um, like the actual, um, the arc rod itself. So uh, just just be aware that can happen and uh, I'll be able to get that off there. I'll just, I'll just pull it off in a second. But um, first off, I just un, just gotta watch out because it's a little bit hot. Use my gloves if uh, would be smarter. But um, I'll put that back together, that's fine. That, that sort of comes in and out, no problem. And then I'll knock that stick if you can see that, let me see if I can, yeah, if you can see that, you'll knock that stick off there and uh, we'll be right to go again. As you can see, I'll just quickly show you where we're at. So we've gone around, it's a pretty rough sort of pass. You can see what I'm doing there, pretty pretty blobby. Uh, I am having a little bit of trouble with it. So um, what I might do is I'll uh, I'll do a couple of passes just to, uh, just to make sure that it's, it's a strong enough world. I mean, it probably, Probably is already just quietly, but uh, it's not. It's not going anywhere. But uh, I want to make sure that it's done properly, uh, as far as like not going to be falling off. So I'll do a few more passes, and I'll uh, I'll come back to you. Okay, so after a lot of back and forth, uh, I'm going to call that done. So let's have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. Got the line on. It looks even worse. <laughs> uh, it's pretty rough, um, and. Uh, Still got the slag on that, I've got to knock it off in a minute, but you can, you get the idea. I've, uh, it's a pretty rough and ready sort of uh, weld, but it is definitely on there. So, I'll just detach that. Put that over there, and uh, still pretty, still, let's see, it's pretty warm after about there. So, I might just try and uh, tip that over a little and see how it looks from the inside. So I was a little bit worried about it burning through, but uh, you can't really see from there, but I can. Uh, it's actually started to burn through in a couple little spots, but uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. You see that little rough area there? Like it's not, it hasn't come through, but it's, it's, it's got close. So that was pretty lucky, all right? 
which uh, means that uh, all things being equal, I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so I'll just double check for any holes and I'll come back. Okay, so that's on there, definitely. I might grind it down later and make it look a little pretty, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, uh, that's our chamber. There's our I guess, valve or uh, little uh, handle. See up under there, maybe. Can you see? No, but there's there's the terrible welding, <laughs> but it is on there. So, all we need to do next, put this on the top, screw our wings in, which we, we all know about. Excuse me, Ted. Now, have you met Ted? I think you did an earlier episode, Ted. Say hello to these people. This is an Airedale. His name's Ted, he's about a year old. Um, he's a silly bugger. He just, uh, he can't help himself. But uh, he doesn't look normally so sheepdoggish. Uh, it's just because of winter. So he's got his winter coat on and then we shave him down and he starts to look a little bit more like a poodle during the summer. So, uh, we've got the wings under here. Get the there. Get those nuts off there. The wings are gonna sit either side like so, one that way, one that way. We've got our valve to let the slag out on the bottom. <laughs> we need to get a couple of bolts for the uh, the bellows that'll go through here and into uh, that hole there. Let me see if I can just turn on the light. No, you can't because it's recorded. Um, and then I'll be ready to go. So I reckon, like, if I go to uh, the local handy um, any man store. I mean, we've got Bunnings here in uh, in Melbourne, which is a bit of a do-it-yourself as delight. We've got uh, Home Hardware and a few others, so I'll get a couple of a uh, couple of bolts, a few screws, and uh, we'll be there. So I'm going to call it quits for this video. It's uh, it's Thursday night, and uh, I think if I go to the like I said the local hardware shop and uh, and grab a few bolts. We can actually finish this off for tomorrow and uh, and while I don't have my anvil or actually my piece of steel with holes in it because I don't actually have an anvil at this point but I don't have it here now uh, I've got to go and pick it up the um, what I can do is light this thing up and being Friday night have a few beers with it and uh, see if I can get some metal hot that'll be a bit of fun I'll see you then uh, if you're interested in what I'm doing if you're enjoying these silly videos with a whole bunch of terrible mistakes terrible welding at this point uh, subscribe and uh, it'll be good to uh, have you on my travels as I continue toward the uh, the foundation of the forge and then uh, and then moving on to trying my hand at some blacksmithing so uh, thanks for watching I'll catch you next time <laughs>